So there's a new report that Horizon Zero Dawn is going to be getting a remaster for the PlayStation 5. A game that is not even f six years old at this point, that is literally only five years old. Like, it's an understand, it's an understandable, you know, with The Last of Us Part 1, because that game originally came out in 2013, and we're nine years later. But a game that came out five years ago, roughly? Come on, Sony. What are you doing this generation? Let's get this video started, shall we? So welcome back to Tech and Gaming Reviews. We are officially back live, back on YouTube, and as you can see, we are officially in our new apartment, as you're seeing right now, and this is where our YouTube is going to be taking place in from now, from here on out, for a while. But there is a rumor slash report that Horizon Zero Dawn is getting remastered and remade for the PlayStation 5. And the game, like, is not even six years old at this point. It's roughly five and a half years old. And I, there's, an argue that can, there's an argument that can be made there. I know some people were not happy with their opinion or with their choice of remaking The Last of Us Part 1. But I was perfectly okay with it. Because especially, like, the game came out in 2013. It did get remastered for the PS4 just a year later. So, it's been roughly 7-8 years. But Horizon Zero Dawn literally came out, like, not even that long ago. Roughly 5.5 years. So, this is definitely a game that I am a little bit on the opposite side of that I don't think this should get a remaster. I mean, like, hell, like, we've already got a, you know, like, the game still looks good, even if you're playing it on a base PS4 at, like, 1080p resolution. It still looks phenomenal. Okay, you got a PlayStation 4 Pro, which gives you 4K enhancements for that game to make it look even prettier. But you want to know what's even better than that? Sony, right before Forbidden West launch, Sony did release a update patch for Horizon Zero Dawn to play at its max settings that the PlayStation 4 Pro can, but instead of 30 frames, you get double that. You get to play the game at a super crisp 4K at 60 frames a second, not 30. I'm pretty sure people's okay with that. A 4K at 60 FPS mode, if you want to add a 120 FPS mode, why the freak, why heck waste that time to report a game that's already good as it is? Why not just release a patch that allows like 1080p or 1440p at 120 frames a second? You know, just as an update. Like, why can't you do that, Sony? But we're going to take you on over to this. Uh, we're going to take you over to this article from GameSpot about Horizon Zero Dawn getting remastered for the PlayStation 5. And then after that, we will express our take on the situation. All right, so here's the article from GameSpot. And it says, Horizon Zero Dawn PS5 Remake slash Remaster and Multiplayer Spinoff Reportably in Development. Horizon Zero Dawn could be getting a significant upgrade as a new report claims that accessibility, feature graphics modes, and quality of life improvements, which you could literally do that with 
just an update patch for the current version of the game. But, whatever. To the gameplay itself, will bring Guerrilla Games 2017 title up to the same similarity, similar standard as its 2022 sequel, Horizon Forbidden West. And... Uh, according to the report, Guerrilla Games is also currently working on a Horizon Zero or Horizon multiplayer game. For PS5 and PC, co-op features had been planned for Zero Dawn as far back as 2014, according to VGC's sources. But these elements were scrapped so that the other areas of the game could be focused on the idea hasn't been entirely scrapped for the mainline series and could make its way into Horizon 3. And Sony is also expanding the series into other forms of media and with a Horizon Horizon TV show headed to Netflix, it wouldn't be surprising to see some sort of an announcement from the gaming side of the series. This could be a similar situation to The Last of Us Part 1, which arrived of ahead of HBO Max live action series. So that right there is the report. So that's the report from GameSpot.com and like we mentioned, I I did see a reason with The Last of Us Part 1 Especially because that game came out, like I mentioned, in 2013. But why in the world a game that literally roughly came out only five years ago and you're going to want to, you know, redo it? And then better yet, there was something I did not mention that's also going to make it even more stupid. And I know... Some of you out there are going to disagree on this, and then probably most of you that have already played Horizon Zero Dawn are probably going to agree, or just PlayStation fans in general. But I can almost guarantee you that Sony is going to be like, nope, you might own the game, but hey, if you want to get the new version, you got to pay $70. You got to pay $70 or or you do not get those graphical features because I am Jim Ryan. I'm the PlayStation head, and da da da. And I just want your millions of dollars. I don't care about making good products. I just want your money. Literally, that's exactly what they're going to do. I can almost guarantee you that's exactly what Sony is going to do. And there's been multiple people, especially in PlayStation fans that I've, you know, have talked to, and yeah. They say that Jim Ryan needs to get replaced because all he's doing is screwing up the PlayStation brand. So, a five-year-old game, okay, that got a PlayStation 4 Pro 4K enhancement and then now got a 4K high frame rate enhancement on the PlayStation 5. Like, you're not going to get the game better than that. Like, 4K in 60 frames a second, a lot of people are very, very pleased with. That's what a lot of gamers absolutely want, is they don't care about super, super high frame rates, and they don't care about the quality, but if you just do the best quality or somewhat decent, like 4K, and then stay at a steady, mostly mostly 60 frames a second, that's what all the gamers really care about. Truthfully. And that that's what we want. We like 4K. We like 60 FPS. So you're going to redo a game that just came out roughly five years ago. And you're going to probably, I could be wrong, and I hope I am wrong, but I don't believe that that's going to be the case. And you're going to resell the game for $70.00. When people can just get the PlayStation 4 version from GameStop, like, you could literally find Horizon Zero Dawn, a used copy of the game of the complete edition, for roughly less than $20. And they got a PS5, put that disc in, and boom, 
you're downloading the latest patch that allows the 4K 60 FPS mode. Now, if Sony does end up redoing this, which I'm sure they probably are doing it, but this is not confirmed just yet, this is just rumors, but I do believe that Sony is probably redoing Horizon Zero Dawn. If they give us free upgrades, or even, and I know some people ain't going to like this, but, or even, if we only have to pay $10 for us owning the game already, just to get the next-gen version of whenever they do decide to redo it and re-release it, I'm perfectly fine with that. But if they go to, like, recharging the game at full price again, and then trying to say $70, Sony, you just freaking screwed yourself in the foot once more already. Like, what Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing this generation? Like, this is not Sony from 2013 and 2014 with the PlayStation 4. Okay? You're just remaking games, remastering, redoing just to put them on the PS5 instead of making new IPs or just sequels to existing games. Like, okay, we got Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, okay? What did that attain? Oh, yeah, that attained Uncharted 4 and the Lost Legacy. Okay, what else did we get? Oh, yeah, we got The Last of Us Part 1. Okay, what's now? Oh, sounds like Horizon Zero Dawn. Another game that does not need remastered or remade. Granted, The Last of Us I'm okay with. But this game, it already looks good and plays good and already got a PlayStation 5 what, ver, uh, patch for it. It's like, why can't you just update a regular patch, Sony? Like, you can't just release an update patch with new visuals and everything and then to tell people that the only way to experience that is by putting your disc in the PS5 and allow, like, you know, 4K 60 frames, and then if you want people to have the 120 frames for that game, you would just give them, you know, a 1080p 120 option or whatever. Like, you can't just do that, Sony. Like, it, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth paying full price and especially asking for $70 for a game that literally looks still good on the base PS4, literally five years from now, and still looks good on a base PS4 in 2022, and then be like, oh yeah, we're going to charge $70 to get you a remake, da da da. Like, it's not worth it. Like, people can just go to GameStop, or go to GameStop's website, or hell, even go on eBay, or Facebook Marketplace, and they can just find used copies for Horizon Zero Dawn whether it be just the standard edition or the complete edition with the two story element content that you get with them for less than $20. And all they have to do is put that disc in their PS5, boom, they're rocking with 4K 60 FPS. So I personally am, was fine. I'm personally okay with The Last of Us Part 1, but Horizon Zero Dawn a game that literally came out roughly five years ago, getting remade again? That just doesn't make any sense to me. So, yeah. Honestly, Sony, you need to think better about what you're doing with the PlayStation 5. If Jim Ryan is literally doing this, you seriously need to get him out and replace him with a new leader because this is just going to continue to hurt PlayStation in the long run. So, yeah. So, Horizon Zero Dawn is reportedly getting remastered for the PlayStation 5. So, this is Tekken Gaming Reviews. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys could, smack that like button. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. And also, we will keep you posted with more future content going forward. And also, be sure to leave us a comment down in the comment section down below of your thoughts of Sony deciding to like continue to remake and remaster freaking PlayStation 4 games that literally just came out like just a few years ago. So yeah, just 
Give me your thoughts down in the comment section down below of Horizon Zero Dawn getting remastered for the PS5 and all the other crap that Sony has done. So this is Tech and Gaming Reviews. Hope you all enjoyed it. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is our new apartment. And this is where, starting right now, our videos are going to be taking place in for a good while. So, peace out.